This Telegraph story is as elaborate a series of elephant traps as you are likely to have to navigate this evening. Yes, but this is actually good news. So this is... Well, the headline is white middle-aged men are bottom of everything, says bank worker sacked over N-word. But this is Carl Borg Neal, who's dyslexic and has been awarded £500,000 after the court ruled Lloyd's unfairly dismissed and discriminated against him, which they surely did. He was in a... We've covered it before. He was in a training session oh. and he asked a question about the N-word purely to see what you would do in such a, 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 a you know, it was a particular an scenario, occurrence. wasn't it? What would you do? He's white, but he says, yes. what would I do if a, if a person of a different ethnicity used the word, right? Yeah, it was a question of intent versus effect. Yeah. And, and but he, it, because he has his dyslexia, and, and it's, the question wasn't being understood, he said mm. the actual word. Yeah. Then the person running the, the seminar, who was said, oh, it's a safe space, went all vitriolic and started berating yeah. him, saying he'd be kicked out, and, and claimed to take a week off work because they yeah. claimed they were distressed. Absolutely absurd. <laughs> yeah. And then Lloyd's just were happy for him to be called racist. He was told not to contact former employees. He suffered back pain. He suffered anxiety. He has to take sleeping pills. Because he, and he says here clearly, the main thing, even if he had to lose his house or sell his house, was clearing his name. Because mm. he doesn't want to be called a racist, which he's not. And we're now finally realising there is a cost to just going around calling people racist and destroying their reputations. And I have to shout out the Free Speech Union here and my associate Toby Young, oh. who, who underwrote his legal costs. Did they? And so, okay. shout out to them, partly because Toby's still got my Christmas present and I want to pick it up. <laughs> but... They've done great work there, and I'm so glad that um, Carl yeah. has, has won this. Well, they're doing better work than the Good Law Project on a case-by-case uh, -case basis at the moment. I mean, I was they're disgusted winning. by that, because, as you say, I don't quite... The only thing that struck me as a slightly odd note was this dyslexia. I know what dyslexia is. It doesn't normally... It sounds more like he had a problem with something like stammering or something. He was really struggling to get his words out. That's yeah. what he said. But anyway, whatever it was that caused that... It's, it's appalling that he is being, like, uh, treated as if he'd used this word in anger. Yeah, it's like, it's like the post office scandal uh, again, but, you know, on a, on a sort of, uh, you know, opinion, cultural uh, yeah. level. And why are they having this training in the first place? They're having yeah. this training, you know, that's telling them they're all racist and, you know, this is... This is everybody should be treated differently based on the colour of their skin. The training they're receiving is racist. All the diversity, equity and inclusion uh, staff and training uh, across the country and every organisation are systemically racist and bigoted against uh, against white and people. And also incredibly brittle by the sound of it. It takes a week off work to get over the yeah. distress calls by yeah. And she wasn't even accused of anything. Yeah, absolutely. And, you know, and saying it's a safe environment and you can... Uh, literally, specifically saying you can make mistakes and then somebody makes a mistake and this happens. Well, half a million quid later. <laughs> hopefully Lloyds have learnt their lesson. We'll see.